في ايسكيميا امبيرمنت اوف بلاد سبلاي تو ذا بارا ثايرويد جلاند ديورنج لايجيشن اوف انفيريور ثايرويد ارتري اوكي ويل دون اند هاو ذا كالسيوم از بين ترانسبورتد ان ذا بلاد كالسيوم ترانسبورتد 50% انباوند اند 45% باوند تو بلازما اند 5 5% Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, associated to amines such as citrate and lactate, right? So, okay. And you need to finish, to finish the sentence, right? So you need to say unbound to plasma proteins, right? Yes. Plasma protein, because not just plasma, because plasma has lots okay. of things. What is the physiological role of calcium in the body? Uh, it uh, helps in uh, neuro uh, uh, neurotransmission uh, and uh, activation of some enzymes. Uh, also coagulation uh, uh, coagulation uh, uh, it play a role in cell uh, cell division uh, 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 also it uh, it help in uh, bone bone mineralization okay so you can classify it starting by you know muscles and uh, bones and nerves and blood uh, such as glycogen metabolism and cells as well all right okay okay And of course, activation of some enzymes. But if you go like systematically, muscles, bones, nerves, uh, and you have blood after that, uh, so it'll be easier to remember. Okay. okay. What are the hormones involved in calcium homeostasis? Parathyroid uh, hormone, uh, vitamin D, uh, D3, uh, and calcitonin. Can you tell me a little bit more? What do they do? Yes, parathyroid uh, uh, hormone, it uh, exert and uh, uh, bone resorption uh, by increasing the osteoclast so increasing the amount of calcium in blood uh, also it increases the uh, G, uh, git reabsorption of uh, of uh, calcium uh, uh, and uh, reabsorption at the renal uh, part and absorption of calcium uh, at the uh, uh, at the git Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, vitamin D3 it increases uh, the uh, stim- uh, uh, absorption of calcium at uh, the gut and reabsorption of calcium at the uh, at the kidneys. Uh, uh, calcitonin it uh, decreases uh, the level uh, of uh, calcium uh, by uh, decreasing uh, bone resorption uh, and uh, also uh, in uh, uh, decrease osteoclastic activity. Okay, fine. So you just need to be a little bit more quick than that. You just need to be a little bit quicker, okay? So okay. you have three hormones, calcitonin, parathyroid hormone, and vitamin D3. The parathyroid hormone it increases bone resorption and increases renal reabsorption. It doesn't have much function on the GRT absorption. And vitamin D3 okay. can work by the three mechanisms, absorption, resorption, and reabsorption, okay? So these okay. are the key words to remember. Uh, and finally, you have calcitonin, which the overall effect will decrease the calcium level by inhibiting bone resorption and stimulating excretion of calcium from the distal tissue. How um, is vitamin D formed? Uh, vitamin D formed uh, by uh, uh, cholesterol uh, uh, when uh, there is ultraviolet uh, in, uh, rays of sun on the skin. It will be uh, transformed to cholecalciferol. Uh, and in uh, the liver, it, uh, it will be 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol, uh, and by one alpha hydroxylase in the kidney, it will be one uh, 25 uh, dihydroxy cholecalciferol, and it's the active form of vitamin D. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, what are the signs of hypocalcemia? Uh, starting from uh, the mouse, uh, uh, circum oral uh, uh, paresthesia. Uh, also, uh, muscle cramps uh, and uh, tetany, a uh, 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 sign, uh, which is on uh, tabbing uh, on uh, the, the facial nerve. There is twitches of facial muscles. Also, a torazi sign, uh, which includes that titanic spasm of hand on tabbing uh, on the median nerve when we are using a cuff. Which muscle are you worried about the most uh, in tetany? Uh, laryngeal muscles because of laryngeal spasm. And that would, of course, affect the uh, respiration. 
the airway, okay? Yes. yes. Uh, what will happen to serum calcium after fixation of a bone fracture? Uh, a transiently uh, increase. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, I think it will be decreased. Yeah, so initially it, there will be some sort of transient increase and then will decrease overall. Okay, what is the treatment of hypercalcemia? Uh, I will uh, treat uh, this patient uh, uh, according to E to E A to E approach, uh, and uh, I should commence a cardiac monitoring with ECG uh, and uh, correct hypo uh, hypo hypocalcemia by giving uh, 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 ten percent ten milli calcium gluconate. Uh, over, uh, uh, I don't sure about the duration, and followed by uh, 10 to 40 mil uh, over six uh, to eight hours. Uh, also, if there is any uh, hypo magnesemia, I should correct it. Yeah, well done. That sounds pretty good. Uh, that's it for this scenario.